What's going on lads and lasses, welcome back to 100% Mags and oh my god, it's finally here, the Premier League season kicks off tonight, of course, with Brentford taking on Arsenal at their stadium, of course, uh, Brentford being the home side in that game, and of course we don't get a kick off our first Premier League game until Sunday uh, the 15th, as you can see to me left here, it's going to be a 2 o'clock kick off, it's going to be live on Sky Sports, and I don't know what's going to happen in the game. We'll have to wait and see, of course. But looking at the way things have been going, you know, leading up to this season, West Ham have done really well in their pre-season friendlies. We haven't done as well in our pre-season friendlies. But at the end of the day, the friendlies don't really matter that much on your season. They don't really impact that much towards the season. Uh, if Newcastle United can go into this game, on Sunday, you know, and putting a performance that we're putting against West Ham last season down at theirs, uh, the London Stadium on the opening day, then I'll be absolutely chuffed to bits with uh, that. You know, I'd just be happy to see Newcastle win on the opening day and get them three points in the bag early. Uh, but looking at the way things have been going, you know, we've still got the takeover looming in the background, which, of course, is a long way away from being... Uh, decided on what's going to happen with that yet. Uh, we've got to wait till the 29th of September for the CAD case on that. Uh, but we will get to that, of course, in due time. Uh, we'll just have to wait it out and see what happens. Uh, but for the match on Sunday, uh, of course, Mark Debrafka is still out injured. Carl Dolo is fit from the looks of it, but I don't know if he will play in the game. I would love to see Freddie Woodman get a go. Uh, and get his debut in the Premier League as well because you know the lad has been working his socks off in pre-season for we and he's uh, played all the games in pre-season for we as well so it would be very harsh by Steve Bruce to put Carl Dolo in you know when Carl Dolo hasn't even had any games you know so he won't have that fitness level uh, that Freddie Woodman's got at the moment and of course there is a few other players as well that you know look like they could be playing on Sunday, the likes of John Joe Shelby and that, who, in my eyes, you know, hasn't really had that much um, of the fitness, you know, from the pre-season games. Uh, Maxi would be an absolute must to play, obviously he's fit, so you would expect Maxi to fit, uh, fit straight into the team. Callum Wilson, you'd expect to go straight into the team as well. I'd expect a pretty strong Newcastle team uh, going into the game on Sunday against uh, West Ham. Obviously, with it being the first game of the season, we want to put in the best showing straight from the off. And, of course, there has been news as well, uh, as of recording this video today, that Joe Willock is at the Long Benton training ground. And, of course, he's uh, agreed to personal terms with the club. And it looks like he could be uh, all set and signed uh, before, of course, the deadline. And hopefully, you know, he will be able to play in the game on Sunday against West Ham. But we'll have to wait and see, of course, uh, on what's happening uh, with Joe Willock. Because that's been another uh, thing, you know, that's been a bit of a mess around of late. It's been dragged out far too long in my eyes. And he should have been uh, sorted a lot sooner. And, you know, that's not the lad's fault. That's not Joe Willock's fault. It's down to the fact of Newcastle in the back room again, messing around instead of getting the deal done and just agreeing to what the terms are, you know, because I think there's been a little bit of penny pinching around uh, in the background with Lee Charnley uh, negotiating over the deal with Joe Willock. So I think there's been a little bit of penny pinching there in it looks like Joe Willock's finally agreed terms hopefully will be registered in time for to play him in the game against West Ham on the opening day of the season, which is, of course, like I say, on Sunday. Uh, West Ham, uh, they have signed some players. And, of course, uh, just looking at a few of the ones that they've signed, they've brought, of course, Craig Dawson uh, in, who was on loan from West Ham, uh, from Watford, sorry. And uh, he's turned that loan into a permanent move. Uh, Armstrong, Oko, Flex and Terry Neves uh, arriving from Celtic and Redden 
respectively. And of course, uh, they brought in Alfonso Ariola from PSG uh, on a loan, just similar to the loan that he did to Fulham last season. Uh, so it looks like he's going to be back in the Premier League again. And the Hammers have lost the services, of course, of Jesse Lingard, who was a really good player for them last season, uh, coming in on loan from Man United. He has returned back to his parent club, of course, of Man United. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see what happens in the game on Sunday, lads and lasses. Um, but I really hope that we can hit the ground running and get going early, get them three points in the bag, it's a must that we get uh, off the board early and start going because there's a lot of tough games this season looking at Newcastle's schedule. We've got a really tough uh, fixture period during December. We've got a really tough fixture period come the end of the season as well. So we must get wins in these games. We've got some good games where we can get some good points up early and these are the games that we must be focusing on from the off uh, to get the points. And of course, we know we're opponents for the Caribou Cup second round as well now. And that is a course to be played between the 24th and the 25th. And that will be, of course, against Burnley at St. James's Park. So we did draw a Premier League side in the Caribou Cup second round uh, tie as well. So we'll have to see what happens with that when that comes around as well. But anyway, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below heading into this game on Sunday against the Hammers and against David Moyes' men. Uh, and of course, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe as well as I'm on the road to 600 subscribers. And I'll see you all next time. However, lads.